was personally affected by the Vatsa coup, reveals Etim Efiong. Actor, producer and director Daniel Etim Efiong has revealed that the Vatsa coup of 1986 affected him personally. Daniel, whose father was involved in the coup recently, had all the charges dropped by the Nigerian government this year. The actor shares how his father being arrested and convicted affected him as a creative. In his own words... Okay, so um, for the longest time, I have been a, uh, an ardent student of history, uh, especially Nigerian history. Some of my first, earliest films, short films, were about historical events in Nigeria. Uh, and studying in South Africa, studying film in South Africa, it just opened me up to the power of, of history and not just the power of history, but where history intersects with personal memory. So yes, there's the national history, you know, of coups in Nigeria and the military era in Nigeria, but there's also the personal aspect of that, where, where national events meets personal memory. So I was personally affected by a national event in Nigeria, you know, uh, my father was arrested, so for years I didn't have, I, I, I lived, I grew up without my father. My mom was going to visit him in prison and had an accident and died. You know, so that just not only affected my entire family, but affected me personally as the last born of the family. You know, and my story tends to be inspired by historical events, you know, moving forward. So, um, so my master's thesis is about history, it's about Nigerian history. So when that event happened during the lockdown, during the coronavirus lockdown, the announcement, the government made an announcement that my father had been uh, granted presidential pardon and his rank and entitlements, and, and following that, his rank and entitlements would be restored. It was, you know, it was, an, uh, it was a huge moment for the family. Uh, personally, because I have been studying and doing research on this, it was a eureka moment for me. I was like, whoa, you know, and it was pivotal uh, for me as an artist because I'm currently adapting or I started to adapt his book into a movie, the book he wrote about his experience. So everything just fell into place. And I was like, I felt very blessed and fortunate to be alive to witness it. Etim Efiong, who directed the hit Netflix documentary Skin, also reveals that he had to grow up without a father. He disclosed that his mom died in an accident while on her way to see his dad in prison, which led to his extended family members stepping in as parents, he says. When the, when the tragic event happened in my family, I mean, it was a very dark moment for all of us. I was, when my father went away, I was barely... One, I was one plus. When my mom died, I was, I was five. You know, so for the family, it was tragic, you know. And, and as many Nigerian families do, we had to stick together as a family. You know, we lived, I grew up with my grandparents. Then later on, my uncle came to pick us up from Benin at the time and took us, brought us to Lagos. And he was like, you know, I'll, I'll, take, I'll take responsibility for your upkeep now. You know, other members of our family, of course, came in to support. So it was a uh, show of, of, of the love and the strength that, you know, was that, that, that family usually exhibit in times of, of trouble. You know, and my family, of course, stood by us. My extended family stood by, by us throughout the period. And um, even when my family was, when, when my father was released, it was, of course, it was, it was huge. It was a huge moment for the family and we all celebrated and again came together. So um, I'm a product of, of that, of family love in the face of tragedy. And, and that inspires my story, my art as an artist. Still on the Netflix documentary Skin, the actor cum director revealed he's always directed videos prior to Skin. He also revealed how actress and producer Beverly Nyer met him and asked that he become a part of the project. I directed Skin, the documentary, now showing on Netflix, and uh, it was my first feature film uh, that I directed. But before Skin, I had directed a number of uh, short films, music videos, TV commercials, uh, skits, uh, online skits, comedy skits here and there. But that was my first uh, project that was feature length, whether uh, documentary or fiction film. 
And uh, the inspiration, of course, came from Beverly Naya. Beverly had met me uh, while we were together in Bonnie Island, and she was like, uh, you know, I have this idea for, uh, for a project. Would you like to come on board as director? And I'm like, great, I love documentary films. And that was how that project was born. Etty Mefiong, who's an advocate for the girl child, reveals what he is doing to improve the lives of the female gender in Nigeria. As an artist, um, I lend my voice to advocacy, um, especially for the girl child, because I believe um, if, I mean, it's, it's a saying as well, train the girl child, you raise a girl child, you raise an entire village, or train a girl child, you save an entire village. Uh, I lost my mom when I was five. And the impact of that in my life has been tremendous. So I do know that, uh, I, I do know about the importance of women in our society and training the girl child and raising the girl child properly, you know, um, would mean that, you know, you're, you're creating a better future for, for the society because then you raise stronger, better, more, um, more effective mothers, you know, for tomorrow. So I'm all for that.